What's going on everybody? It's your buddy Brian. It is a beautiful day here in Winnipeg. Last season we did a nice pulled pork poutine. We focused on a lot of the poutine, you know, the big method. We also did it on the offset smoker. Today we are going to do a beautiful, melty, fall apart pulled pork. We're going to do it on the Weber kettle. We're going to do the snake method. I'm going to teach you how to do it right and how to do it beautiful. Let's get into it. Let's go crazy. All right, friends, let's get into this pulled pork. As always, we want to get nice and rubbed down, let it tack up so we can get a beautiful bark. So we got a nice small pork shoulder here, but that's okay. It's just me. I mean, you know, Reed may show up later. We'll see what happens. So what we want to do, we want to do a nice, just cross hatch, score it nicely so that way the flavor of the rub and everything gets into it real nice. and gonna look pretty afterwards too and you know what they say you always eat with your eyes first unless you don't have any patience then you eat with your mouth and then you may eat with your eyes afterwards so we're gonna do a nice Dijon binder yes uh, don't be afraid to massage that in get all sides up down inside outside all right we got our crazy rub as seen on grill crazy you want to know how to make it Check it out right here. So we are going to be liberal. We like our flavor. Give it a nice little pat in there. And you wanna do all sides. Make sure that's covered real nice. All right, so this is looking beautiful. We're gonna let this tack up for about 10, 15 minutes. We're gonna get that grill ready. We're gonna do a snake method on the Weber kettle. So come on over, I'll show you what we're talking about. All right, friends, so come on over here. Here is our beautiful Weber kettle, and here is our charcoal snake. So you're gonna have your charcoal stacked two by two, up and around, depending on how long your cook's gonna be. So we did, you know, about three quarters here. But the nice thing about this is, if your cook is done, and you've still got charcoal left, push it off to the side, you can save that for later. So another thing is, this is really good for long cooks, and offset cooking because it's just gonna go. You wanna set them up like fallen dominoes. So, you know, once this is done, it's gonna catch that. And so on and so on. You wanna get your wood at the beginning to get that kiss of smoke, to get it all started up. All you need are a few briquettes to get started, okay? And when I say briquettes, you wanna use briquettes because if you use lump charcoal, you may get a nice big piece that's gonna spike your temperature. It might take everything out of whack. So. Use briquettes, nice and uniform. It's gonna be a good cook. We're gonna be here enjoying the sun, maybe get some yard work done. Let's get this thing lit and let's get this pork on. Ooh! It's gonna be good. All right, we are looking good. So, we dump them out and then you just want to take them, place them right at the beginning of your snake, and get that smoke starting. All right, so for this, we want to keep that grill at about 250, 275. And when you're doing cooks like this, you basically, you use the bottom to control your temperature. You want that top vent to be open wide the whole time, and you just use the bottom. The more closed it is, the less flow you're gonna get, better way, lower temperature, really keep an eye on it, all right? So we're gonna let this go, we're gonna get the smoke started, and then we're gonna get cooking. All right, she is looking good. We're sitting at about 240. In this range for a pulled pork, between 240 and 300 is perfect. You're not gonna hurt it. If it goes above 300, that's when we start Hitting the, uh, hitting the old notch here, closing it up. Like I said, more closed it is, less airflow, lower the temperature. But right now, 
She's perfect. Let's get this pork on. We're gonna take our beautiful butt. Gonna put it right there. And we're gonna put that baby to bed. So we've got we got our uh, temperature prong going here. We're gonna keep a nice eye on it. Gonna close this up. And like I said before, with the Weber kettle, whenever you're smoking something, you want that top vent away from where the flame is because you want it to come up. You want that smoke to come across your meat and out the other side. So we're gonna let this sit for the first hour. Then we're gonna give it a little spritzy spritz with some apple, uh, I was gonna say applesauce. It ain't applesauce, apple juice, a little Dr. Pepper, get some sugar, get some caramelization on there. And we're just gonna let it watch. Might do some yard work, might do some reading. Who knows? We'll see what happens, but we'll check back in a little bit. We'll see you later. One hour later. All right, my friends, it has been an hour. Let's take a look at it. Hello. Oh, yes. So what we did that you didn't see is we put a drip tray in there just to keep it clean. You know, you want to keep your grill as nice as possible. So you see how the snake is going over there, gone through some wood, and that's catch there. And we still got a long ways to go. So we're going to give it a nice spritzy spritz here, Dr. Pepper. Apple juice, it's like a super soaker. All right, oh yeah. Oh, smells good, smells good. All right, we're gonna put this back to bed. Check on it in another uh, 45 minutes. Give it another spritz, keep her going. Once we're about three hours into this, we're gonna foil boat it, keep that moisture in, but still keep a nice crust. So uh, we're gonna keep that in. We'll check back when it's time to foil boat. We'll see you in a bit. One pair of pants later. All right, my friends, we are ready to go. We are three hours into this cook. It is time to get this baby boated. So we're gonna look at that beautiful crust right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, instead of wrapping it completely, because we're gonna lose that nice bark, so we're just gonna foil boat it so it continues to cook, but it's gonna keep a nice bark on the top. So here we go. Ooh, mama. Hey, when you're making that boat, All those nice juices on the inside and put her back to bed. So as you see, coals are coming up this way. Put it over there, knock this over slightly and put her back. And uh, that's it, another probably two hours to go. We'll check on it periodically, but uh, we wanna let that bark harden up nicely. So we'll see you back shortly. All right, my friends, we are done. Probe tender, 200, 205. It's perfect. Let's take a look at this thing. Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. That looks phenomenal. So let's get this. All right, let's get these hot little hands on this hot little pork, tear it up, and make some Sammies. Oh, I can't wait. Montage. my friends so we are done things behind the scenes you didn't see I made these amazing pretzel buns so uh, check in the description You're gonna have the whole recipe how to do them they are so good also crazy sauce check out right here that's how we make it and um, my mouth has been a waterfall ever since I've been shredding this stuff so it is ready I got two sandwiches you know what that means the beer man's coming Reno where you at baby Oh, there he is. We need a hero. All right, what do we have? Lake of the Woods, Lakeside Colch. One of my favorites. Mine too. Right on. All right, Clinky. Oh, that's so good. Well, should we get into this? Wait, hold on. Go ahead. Yes, we should. Yes, perfect. Okay, good. I'm taking this one? Yeah, I'll take this one. Oh, man. Thank you.
Oh, man. Wow. <laughs> that is some serious pulled pork action right there. That was about five and a half hours, almost six hours. It's tender, it is pull apart, beautiful smoke. Everything is just, oh, oh yeah. Well, I'm gonna keep eating this. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. Ring that dinner bell to get all of our notifications. Season two is here. We're making some great content, some great videos. And we wanna see your recipes. If you're doing them, take pictures, take videos. Let me see what you're doing. We'd love to see it. Until then, if you're gonna grill, Real crazy. All right, we'll see you later.